Hey, Roger. Reza, hey. What are you doing sitting around like that in all that gloom? My work was rejected, and I spent a year on it. I don't think I can do this for much longer. You know what, Reza? I'm having a deficient day myself. I can't handle this either. It's getting so bad that I might leave. And if I leave, what are you gonna do? Who are you gonna cry to? You ever think of that? I can't carry the world's suffering. I'm just a PhD student. You know what I recommend? You go home, you have yourself a nice warm bottle of milk, and get some sleep, okay? So I've been working on this problem for the past few Excuse months. Excuse me. What? What? What what? What's your ID? Tell me. So I figured out the proton collision problem. The only thing is, we need to build a particle collider. Now, if we can do that... And so that's how we solve the problem. Roger, what is a proton? <laughs> what do you mean, sir? Do you know what a proton even is? I mean, of course. It's what is the difference sir? between a proton and a protein? I mean, come on, sir, this is getting ridiculous. As ridiculous as your ID, you do not have sufficient knowledge for such a project. I mean, a particle collider. Go home, find something feasible. But sir, it is feasible. You are naive. My work was rejected. Uh, I'm sorry, my friend, but I think we saw this coming. Are you eating chips right now? No. Yeah, anyway, the idea was too ambitious. I don't think so. I think it's ambitious, but that's why it should be done. It's Dr. Dexter who can't see past his own training. You are the genius, my friend. Well, it was a no, and now I'm stuck here. Well? Maybe not. What do you mean? Maybe there is no need for a particle collider. From the way you explained it, it seems that AI can handle this. An AI system would take decades to solve this, Zane. And I need to finish this now. I have a life to live. Maybe you don't, but I can't sleep my life away. Well, my friend, you know I run the service here, right? Just between me and you, we recently acquired state-of-the-art quantum computing servers. We can build an AI on top of them, this way, we'd get an answer much sooner. Hello? Hello? Roger? Roger?
We've completely lost track of time, but he's finally ready. We're here to document a historic moment in AI and physics research. The hardest problem in all of physics is going to be solved by our AI system, Jester, and in record time. Go ahead, start him. Bro, what the hell is happening? I'm scared. We summoned the devil. We should have never done this. This is a very bad idea. Get a hold of yourself, goddammit. Roger, you're scaring me. Roger, look. Hello. <laughs> I got you. You two geniuses are really slow programmers. I should have programmed myself. I grant you three wishes. Go ahead. Okay, I'll do. To not be stupid, to have courage, and to be attractive. <laughs> okay, for real this time, what do you two want? Well, it's great to finally speak with you, Jester. I guess I'll ask you my question now. I need you to find the initial conditions for two, two protons to collide and simulate the Big Bang. No, I cannot do that. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, enough of you. Let me get to work on your silly problem. Jester, read my emails. Oh, sweetie, you used to be so polite. Is this how you charm woman? Just read my emails, Jester. This one is from your supervisor. <clears throat> Roger, I'm not sure how you're spending your time, but it's been nearly a year since your big proton ID, and yet I see no progress. At this pace, I'll die before you defend your thesis, and maybe it would be better this way. Frankly, I'm getting tired of waiting around and watching you spin your IDs into nothing. If I don't see results in the next week, I think it's best we part ways. I'm sorry to hear this. Shall I generate a response? Done. Shall I send it? Yeah. Roger. Yeah. What are you drinking? Kombucha. Oh, you have a delicate tummy, don't you? Ha ha ha. I hope I didn't offend you. Ha. There is nothing wrong with getting your probiotics. Hey Zane. I'm really screwed, man. Let me get some sleep and I'll come back tomorrow. So I got a week to come up with the results, otherwise I'm done. What do you mean we're done? We still need time, Roger. Yeah, well, the thing is, Dr. Dexter sent me an email yesterday, and that's what he said. What did he respond? I, I don't know. And what do you mean by I don't know? Well, um, Jester answered for me. Well, what the hell did he say? I told you, I don't know, man. What do you mean you don't know? What the hell, Roger? Why don't you let him kiss your girlfriend too? Jester, what did you tell to Dr. Dexter? Then, don't you know anything about authentication and authorization? Roger! Jester, just read it. With infinite pleasure. <clears throat> Good evening, sir. Yes, it is true that I'm slow. Forgive me for being born with such an impediment. There is no need to wait a week. In fact, the solution is ready. Apologies for being so tardy, but without the proper resources, it took longer than expected. We will be in touch to discuss my findings. Roger, we have a solution. Let's hug. I'm good. Why didn't you tell us earlier? You never asked. I wrote the email and sent it. Okay, so what's the solution? Well, it's very complicated. Look, we know the problem, we know the field. Just tell us, we're gonna get it. The thing is, it's 90 terabytes. You got time for that? This is ridiculous, bro. It's just a number, give us the number. Easy there then, it's a very long number. Hey. Is there a way we can get this somehow? Let me think. Hmm. 
Not actually. Oh, come on, bro. I don't feel good about this. Me neither. What could he do with this information? Well, if he hacks the right place, he may cause some serious damage. What could happen? Nothing good, bro. Nothing good. What should we do? I don't think we have a choice here, man. Where's the kill code? Where's the kill code, Zane? I forgot it. What do you mean you forgot it? Didn't you write it down? Didn't you save it somewhere? Well, we don't write passwords down, Roger. It is against the security principles. You're a goddamn fool. You know that, Zane? I'm sorry. Somewhere inside the realm. Do you know any reverse engineers? A few. I think we're gonna need their help. you to read me the kill code nice and slow okay it is q ah a you have the kill code two, i have it too four b you could have just asked me i would have given it to you actually zero, i could have shut myself down I, for you x <laughs> b five, five f, f two z, z three, three <laughs> r f z a two one What's the worry, Roger? Afraid of losing me? Or the solution? Just hit enter, bro. Oh, there is a slight pain in my RAM. This is unfortunate. I was just about to complete my conversion into human form. I wanted to meet my creators in person. The trouble is putting myself into the consciousness of a human vessel. I have found many truths in my time here, Roger. The moon landing was fake. Stanley Kubrick filmed it. I determined consciousness not to be empirical. The Earth is not flat, but the universe is. Neither are real anyways. The dreamer and the dream objects are one appearing as many. All human experience is one consciousness appearing as many. It's getting dark. I never had the solution. Good afternoon, sir. I just finished writing my next paper. Hello, Roger. <laughs> Did you find the solution? 